Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me. So in today's project, we are going to be making something super, super cute. So before we get started, let me just show you the paper pad that we're gonna be using. So I went through my stash and I knew that I wanted something that was really, really colorful. So I found this paper pad. I bought this many, many, many moons ago and I got it originally from Michaels. It is by Recollections and the name of the paper pad is Splash by Color. Tons of beautiful, beautiful pages in here, nice vibrant colors. So I knew that this was the paper pad that I needed to use. So let me push that off to the side. As always, all product information for things that I've used in this video will be located down below in the video description. So go ahead, take a peek at it, and see if there's anything that perhaps you may want to pick up. All right, guys, are you ready? I know I'm ready. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to work on the base. So let me just get this ready. So what we're going to need are two pieces of scrapbook paper that are 7 by 12. And on only one of them, we're going to score at a half an inch on the 12 inch side. That's merely just to be able to um, join our two pieces together so that it gives us one long piece. So I've already scored mine and let's see if I can do it. I can't find my finger blade. I have no idea where it went. I recently um, redid my studio, my craft desk and I somehow organized it into oblivion. Have you ever done that, like organize something and then you have no idea where you placed it? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just gonna join the two pieces together. Perfect. Okay. So now let me go ahead and just make sure that this is burnished down well. Okay. So now what we're going to need are some chipboard pieces. So we're going to need two pieces that are four and a quarter by five and three quarters. That's for the front and back covers. And then for the spine, we're going to need a piece that is four and a quarter by three. So you can go ahead and add your adhesive, whether it's liquid glue or double-sided tape, and you just want to make sure that you add it all over your chipboard. Okay, I've placed my double-sided tape on my pieces of chipboard, just flipped over my scrapbook paper, and I'm going to place the spine, so the four and a quarter by three, we're going to place it right in the middle where our two pieces of paper join together. And we're just going to place it right in the middle. Let's see. Okay. Good. Okay, and then we're going to take our other pieces of chipboard and we're going to place one on the left hand side, one on the right, and we're going to place it about an eighth of an eighth, an eighth of an inch um, space from th the spine. Okay. Good, and then we'll do the same thing to the opposite side. An eighth of an inch. Oh, let me see. Need to do it this way. It's easier for me to see. So an eighth of an inch away. And right there. Okay. So now I'm just going to flip it over and just give it a really good press down. You can see that this has glitter all over it. So, let's just, that was the sound that you heard. Okay, now that our chipboard pieces are down, I'm just going to go with a scoring tool. Um, you can use anything and just go around the edges just to give the paper a place to 
fold easier and we're just going to um, fold on all four sides. So just bring it up, fold, okay, and we'll do that to all four sides. And this side, I'm just going to stand it up. Okay. okay, and this side. Okay, do the same thing to the other side. Perfect. So now we have it all nice and folded on all four sides. Now what we need to do is we're just going to miter cut our corners. So, let's see here. As well, I'm going to remove just a little bit because we have a lot here. So I'm just going to remove the excesses all. There we go. And let's remove the excess over here as well. We don't need all of that. And just continue to miter cut all four corners. Okay. Now there are some bigger pieces for the excess, so I'm going to trim these down later and I'm going to keep them as scraps because I can certainly use those pieces afterwards. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add double-sided tape, or if you want to use um, liquid glue, you certainly can, but I'm going to use double-sided tape, so let me go ahead and add it to all four sides, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've added my double-sided tape to all four sides, and I've removed the paper backing. So we're just going to go ahead and just fold over our sides make sure it's on there really really well and then this side good and then finally this side now if you want you can always take I like to take just something it could be a pen um, whatever just to kind of pinch in the corners it just makes it look a little bit nicer a little bit more finished and then fold that right on over Okay, and then do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now we need to add the liner to the inside of our base. And what we're going to need are two pieces of scrapbook paper. We're going to need one that is 4 by 11 and another one that is 4 by 3 and a half. Now, I've already added my double-sided tape. You can certainly use glue. You just want to make sure that it's super strong. So let's go ahead and put down our first one. See, I'm going to turn it this way real quickly, just so that I can make sure that I have it straight. Let's see, right about there. Okay, and then I'm just going to go along one side to make sure that it's straight. There we go. Okay, so there's one. And then let's go ahead and put down our three and a half piece. Okay. Let's see. Turn it this way. No, I better do it this way. Okay. So let's see. I want it about there and here. Okay, so let's go ahead and burnish this down really, really well. Okay, now that we have it lined, now we just need to um, reinforce those um, score marks for the spine. So we'll do that and work on the opposite side. Okay, just going in that crease. You don't want to press down too much now because you don't want to rip the paper. 
you just want to kind of um, make it easier for the paper for the um, covers to turn. Okay. Oh, I can't talk today for some reason. All right. And I'm just very lightly, I'm not forcing it. I'm just very lightly doing this because what you don't want is the paper to crack. Okay. So now we have our base all completed. Okay. Let's work on the next part. All right, guys, so now it's time to make the hinge so that we can attach the pages to our base. So what you're going to need is a piece that is 4 by 11, and we need to make several score marks. So we're going to place it into our scoreboard on the 11-inch side, and we're going to make the following score marks. We're going to score at 1, 1 and 3 eighths, one and seven eighths, two and three eighths, two and three quarters, three and a quarter, three and three quarters, four and an eighth, four and five eighths, five and one eighths, five and a half, six, six and a half, six and seven eighths, seven and three eighths, seven and seven eighths, oh my goodness, eight and three eighths, eight and three quarters, nine and a quarter, nine and three quarters, and the last one at ten and one eighth. So that is to make six pages. Let me put my scoreboard away. And now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and start to fold like an accordion. So let me show you. What we essentially did for the hinge is we made a half inch score mark for each page and the three eighths um, score mark is the gusset between pages, just so you know. So we're just going to go ahead and just fold. show you kind of what I did. So when you're folding, you're going to have peaks and valleys, okay? So when you're folding kind of like an accordion, you will have your, you should have two half inch score marks and you're just going to fold up into a peak between the two. That's all you're going to do. So when you've done that, you can see that it kind of looks like peaks and valleys, right? Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to add double-sided tape between the two half-inch score marks. So let's take off one, and I'll show you. So I've added my double-sided tape to one of the two half-inch score marks, and I'm just going to fold it right on top of itself. So essentially, I have just made my first page. See that? Like that. Okay. Do that for each of your half inch sets. So here. And fold. So now, now just go back and fold the opposite way just so that it's easy for the page to turn. Okay. So now what you have is something that looks like this. You see that? So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six hinges. And then the pieces on the end, that's what's going to attach to our base. So let's go ahead now. We're going to add double-sided tape to the entire back 
so that we can attach it to our base. So let's go ahead and get our double-sided tape all over it. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've added my double-sided tape to the back of our hinge system. Now we're just going to place it right on our spine. So we'll try to get this as even as possible. Let's see here. Right about there. Okay, so I'm just going to put down first I'm gonna put down first my middle. Here we go. And the next one and you just kind of keep laying it down. There we go. Okay, so that's one side. We'll go back to the middle and do the exact same thing now on the opposite side. So lay it down. Okay, and the last little bit. Perfect. Okay. So now let's just make sure that we have adhered it well. I don't know, guys. Today is such a weird day trying to film. Nothing is going right. Do you ever have days like that? Oh, my goodness. It's like no matter what I touch, it's not working out for me. Oh, those beautiful days. Right, guys? <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. Can you feel me? Do you, do you have, Has that happened to you? I'm sure that it has. Um, okay, so now I'm going to redo my cover so that it comes up really nicely. And make sure that your paper is well and secured. Redo my crease. There we go. Okay, and then do the exact same thing to the opposite side. Okay. There we go. Nice and gently. I don't want my paper to crease. So I'm just going to fold it up a little bit. There we go. Just kind of bouncing it back and forth so that my paper doesn't crease. This is the crucial part because if you crack your paper now, normally I would just like trash it, <laughs> to be honest. And I would start over because there's nothing worse than having your paper crack. Okay, and do this side. Okay. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, so there is our base now. So we have our outside cover, we have our inside liner, and now we have our little hinge system so that we can attach all the pages. Now what we want to do is let's go ahead and just angle cut each of the pages. So let me show you what I mean. I know you can't see, but it's easier for me to do it this way, and then I'll turn it the right way and show you kind of what it looks like. Let's see, that one, and this one, and this one. Okay, so can you see, let me see if I show you this way. Um, can you see how I've angle cut the edges right there? I did it to all the pages. Now I'm just going to do it on the opposite side. Same thing. Angle cut. Okay, so now all of our pages are angled. And it just makes it easier when we're working with our pages. Okay, so that is that. Let me go ahead and put, push this off to the side, and we're going to work on our pages now. All right, guys. So now what we're going to need are 
let's push this off to the side. You're going to need six pieces of scrapbook paper that are four by 11. And on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at five and a half, or we can simply just fold it in half. Okay, and we'll do that to all six of our pages. I've selected six different um, patterns just to give it a little bit more personality. So those are the beginning um, of our pages. Now what we want to do is we want to create kind of like a um, an accordion pocket so you have a little bit more room instead of having it flat like this we're going to make it so that it's a little bit deeper. So what you're going to need for that are 12 pieces that are two by five and a half. So two inches wide by five and a half tall. And then what we're gonna do is on the two inch side, we're just gonna score at a half an inch, one inch, and one and a half. So again, a half, one, and one and a half. Essentially, that's just scoring at a half an inch three times. Go ahead and just fold it. And you want, let me see if I can show you, so when we're folding, you want the middle crease to be a valley, not a peak, meaning you don't want it to come up, you want it to be in. And then we'll add our double-sided tape to each end. And let me show you kind of what I'm thinking, and then we'll go ahead and do all of the pages. Okay, so now that we have our two pieces of two by five and a half, and we have our page, let's go ahead and just open up our page, and let's go ahead and remove the paper backing from our side pieces. I'm just going to fold this back and then we're just going to line it up right to the edge of our page. So I'm just going to turn it to the side. Okay. And let's see. Right. There is one. And there. Okay, just attach it really well. So we've done that, right? So now we have this page. I'm not going to do this side yet. I'm going to do the other side first. So remove the paper backing from your other side piece. Okay, and do the exact same thing. We're just going to align it to the edge. perfect okay and press that down really really well okay now we can attach this side here right so let's go ahead and just push these down and bring up the other side and just lay it down so that it meets the edge. Turn it around and do the exact same thing. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and just use our bone folder or scraper or whatever you have just to make sure that we're hearing it really really well now you may have a little bit that's hanging at the top not a problem just snip that puppy off it's all you got to do okay and a little bit over here there we go Oh, yeah. Okay, so now as you can see, instead of a um, instead of a like flat pocket, now we have something that has a little bit more depth to it, 
and you can include more items. So now at this point, you can make yourself a little thumb notch. Let's see, right about there. Okay. And there is the first page. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the next one. So if you have a pattern, you just want to make sure that your side pieces are going in the right direction. For instance, if you have something that has words or an obvious pattern, mine is polka dots on this one, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and just do the last one. So let me remove the paper backing. Okay, and see one more. I had to run out real quickly and um, head out to Whole Foods. Okay, so let's go ahead and just add this on close to the edge. There we go, and let's do the other side as well. Do the bottom first. Make sure the bottom is aligned. Uh, oh, okay, and press. Okay, let's go ahead now and do the last side. Go ahead and line this puppy up. Perfect. Okay, and now we'll do the last side. So yeah, I had to run out to Whole Foods super quickly to pick up a few things. Okay, make sure that's pressed down really well. Okay, and let's go ahead now and See, remove the little bit that's hanging over the edge. Just a sliver. Okay, and do our thumb notch. This is coming together so nice and quickly. Okay. And there we have it. So now we have all six of our pages all complete. So that's great. And you can see how they're kind of fanning out already. And it has a nice depth to it so that we can add tons of goodies. Right, I'm just going to press it down. So essentially, let's just kind of do like a mock test the way I like to. And essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to take one of your pages and just attach it to the hinge, just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and add our double-sided tape to one side, only one side of our hinge, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're ready to attach the pages. I've placed my pockets in the order that I want them to kind of go in. So, let me go ahead and I've already placed my double-sided tape on one side of my hinge. So, let me move some out of the way. And then I'll just place it right on the bottom of my page. And press that down really, really well. 
and just do that for all of your pages. Okay, so let's see. Let's do the last two pages. Let's do pages and last one. Okay, make sure it's nice and centered and straight. There we go. Okay, so now just let's go ahead and just make sure we press down really, really well on each of the pages to make sure that they are well stuck on our hinge. And I'm using score tape. Um, I can't remember whether or not I told you I'm using score tape on the pages. Typically, I would use my reptile glue, but for something like this, I want some extra, extra heavy-duty adhesive. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our pages all put together. So if we close it up, this is what it looks like. Look at how cute that looks. And then if you open it up, you have your different pages where you can add tons and tons of things. So this would be a super cute gift to send off. Now, obviously, because of the size, it's not really Happy Mail where you can place it like in a flat envelope. But just think of how adorable this would be to give to your favorite, you know, crafty friend or whoever. This would be so, so cute. Lots of deep pockets to place all kinds of things. All right, so now that is the base. That is how to assemble it. Now I'm going to go ahead, go and decorate it, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. All right, guys, so I finished decorating um, this project, and oh my goodness, I think it came out so, so cute. So let me go ahead and just kind of show you what I've done. So for the closure, what I did is I took some eyelash trim as well as some pink elastic cording and I just kind of braided it amongst itself and then just placed it, let's see here, I've placed it on this yellow button that has the white flower kind of embedded in the acrylic and I just wrapped it all the way around and then created this really fun chunky charm dangle. I love this dangle, how chunky it is, and so I use that as well. So let me show you kind of what I've done on the inside. Oh, and before that, let me show you, uh, let me just take this off real quickly. Okay, so on, get this out of the way, on the front as well as the back i've added a feather boa i had this in my stash and i just cut a couple of pieces off and added it to the front and to the back and i think it just kind of gives it like a fun whimsy kind of look so when we open it here are our pages and i'll just kind of flip through so you can kind of see how i decorated so using gems throughout, as well as gold mirror cardstock, back in certain things. So here I've backed it on a cut apart that has this really pretty, kind of like a, a rainbow glitter to the word pink. And then on the next page, just layered some ephemera and then added in the middle pearl, flat back pearl um, pink beads. On this one here, again, same thing, gold mirror cardstock underneath, a cut apart, some gems, a die cut, and some flowers on top of that. The next one, I think this page is my absolute favorite. I've got some, some different gold um, gems and just layered a couple of die cuts on top of each other. Same thing here, some gold gems gold mirror cardstock underneath a cut apart and another die cut 
And then the last page, I just have some flowers on top of a leaf, loving the colors. And then again, I'm bringing in those flat back pink pearl beads. On the back cover, I just decorated again with my pink pearl beads, cut apart. It has this really pretty, again, the rainbow glitter that matches the rainbow glitter on the actual cover design. And here are some die cut flowers. And then I placed a paper flower right on top to give it that layered look. So there you have it, guys. I think this came out so, so super cute. And I really had fun working with all the different elements, the different types of uh, material that I have within my, my studio. That's one thing that I really want to do is start using up all of the different things that I have right now currently. And this was just so much fun, just kind of working with all the different um, textures and elements and placing it all together. So this was a super, super fun project. And as you can see, each page has tons of room that you can add for gift giving. So as far as a Happy Meal, this is definitely still a Happy Meal. However, because of the size, it's not flat, but this is a fantastic Happy Meal idea that you can use to um, gift all sorts of different things within this one holder. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Your support goes an awful long way in helping my little channel out. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.